Pimpin's beard changes colors more than a Regal on 28. You hear me? His beard is dark like he got pranked during a breathing treatment. Like, oh, that feels so much better. Yo, what got, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, his beard is, hey, his beard is darker than two Jeffrey Dahmer thoughts, okay? One minute it'd be slightly brown, and the next minute it'd be super dark, like you dipped your chin in a goblet of soy sauce. <laughs> Come on, man. Episode two of the Stocks TV show. You gotta have the YouTuber hands. Hey guys. <laughs> hey man, welcome everybody, man, to this episode two of the Stocks TV show. Glad you're here, man. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button right now, man. Go and hit that notification bell. That way you can get notified every time we drop a video. You're hey, before I even get started, man, I gotta say happy new years. I gotta do it all over again, man. Even though I said it in episode one, if you checked episode one out, man, what I didn't know is uh I really didn't have a new year, man. I, I didn't have a new year because what I didn't know while making episode one. I had COVID. Yes, I had full-fledged COVID and didn't even know it. Um, I'm making a video. I felt kind of funny, but you know, whatever. We feel funny all the time and just sold y'all way through it. You understand? So, you know, I just, you know, bypassed and let it be what it be, man. And um, New Year's Eve, man, that was when this COVID was hitting me at the maximum capacity, man. It was hitting me all the symptoms, man. Fever, chills. Uh, uh, what is it? Nausea, a uh, uh, headache, man. I'm talking body chills, man. Fatigue, man. You name it, man. I was I was crushed. You right? And I'm sitting here with this deadline of putting a video out. So when the ball drop on New Year's Eve, boom, here go the video too. First episode of the Starks TV show. Got to make this pop. You understand? So while making the video, I kind of don't feel right. So I kind of cut my video short in in a sense. Um, but I made it work. Well, putting the finishing touches on the video, I couldn't put the finishing touches on because I'm sitting here in the bed, all the lights out, sick as a dog. I can't even think straight. My head is pounding, headache, boom, boom, boom. And I'm sitting here one eye open, editing this video, putting the final touches on it so I can have it out, you know, for the first episode of the Starks TV show. Literally the first episode of the Starks TV show, I edited and made while having full-fledged COVID, man, with all the symptoms, man. So uh, that video is, is a soldier, a soldier-made video, man. <laughs> like I was really putting in work while not even being able to see straight, while not even being able to drink or eat food, man. My lips was rusty. I looked like Pookie off New Jack City, man. It was bad. My beard was bent. You feel me? It was bad. So you know, I'm on the uptick, man. I'm, things is up, man. I, I, I'm feeling a little better. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get all the. Way. I ain't 100 percent yet try and get all the way back to 100% man but we here so shout out to everybody watching the show man uh we're gonna get on into it man happy 2022 to everybody man and we already got news all ready man the boy ab your boy Antonio Brown done walked off the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody walks off the job. I walked off UPS in 2001 in high school, man. I had a cutlass with some gold Ds on it, and they said some stuff I ain't like. So I took my little scan off, and threw it in the truck, and walked out. You know what I'm saying? It be like that. But what I'm going to do in this situation is particularly mind my business because it got to be some deeper, darker background things that we don't know about, right? It's easy for us to judge from the outside and everybody talking about AB's crazy. We all know AB been crazy. He been rocking Wesley Snipes haircuts his whole career. Anybody with those kind of styrofoam haircuts, you can already tell what's going on out here. I mean, it's plain to see. It's easy as, it's easy as pie, man, for people I already know, man. Anybody that's dressed like a board boss, <laughs> they got a other different play going on. You understand? He look like he is uh, in charge of level 11. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, I, I hope the best for AB, but we already got to understand my man just has several contracts, big money contracts, that's uh, uh, generational wealth as we speak. So, it's not really like you know, he's if he quits playing football, that that's going to be the end for him. It's like, nah, he already got the capital to do whatever it is he desires in life. You understand? So, and to me, AB won. In other news, we see that uh, uh, your boy Jason Derulo got hands. You know what I'm saying? Somebody tried him in the mall, man, said, who is that, Usher? Or they called him a bitch or something, man. Called him out his name and uh, 
Jason Derulo wouldn't have him, man. He gave these folks the hands. Hey, Hector, fuck you, bitch. Wait, stop it, wait, stop it. What? The fuck? The fuck? Don't touch my boy! Now it's a surprise to everybody because you think somebody that makes a lot of fun loving content and does all moves for the ladies and all of that, that they ain't got no hands. But that's a misconception, man. I'm going to tell y'all something. I've, I've, I've always had this as a rule to myself. I'm never fighting nobody that can flip or dance. I'm telling you, it's something different about people that can flip or dance. They just got a different level of athleticism that you don't even want to test during a fight. You understand? I'm saying anybody that can do a neck roll, <laughs> anybody that can plie, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want no parts of that. You understand? If you can do a, a, a what is it called? If you can do a gainer off the diving board into the pool, I don't want to fight you. What am I fight you for? Huh? You got to explain to the homies why you can, why you lost the fight to somebody who's doing the electric slide really good. <laughs> like, why you back roll into the next move? You understand? I'm not doing that. Jason Derulo just proved the point that you uh, never judge a book bass cover because uh, he came and, 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 you know, put them hands on them folks out there, man. You got to understand that. I've learned that lesson a long time ago. I'm a kid. I grew up in the hood. I grew up in the gutter. So being a hood gutter kid, we would always go to University of Kentucky parties and we would be the hood dudes in the parties. You know what I'm saying? So we always look down on the guys that was in the fraternities. You know, for what reason? I don't know. We was just in the hood. Look at them with the cute hairlines looking like they own bad boy records. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like day 21 looking at, you know what I mean? So we would always look at fraternity dudes all crazy. You know what I'm saying? Never got into it with none. I know a lot of dudes in fraternities. Everybody's cool. But one time I seen a bunch of hood dudes I knew get into it with a fraternity group, man. And uh, it changed my life. Definitely changed my life because I seen a hood dude uh, get beat to smithereens by somebody with brunch boots on. Never have I seen nobody from the hood with gold teeth get beat to death by somebody with brunch boots on. Brunch boots and slacks. You can't listen. He lost his hood name that day. He went from D Rock to Desmond, bro. Like, you you lost to somebody in brunch boots. You can never get that back. That's why I ain't fighting nobody that can flip, dance, or they in the fraternities where they can do real good things with canes. I'm not doing none of that. Nope. So Jason Derulo, everybody surprised? I kind of knew it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, right now I just want to list out some things that we should leave in 2021. You know, because I feel like we shouldn't carry on certain things into the new year. So things that we should leave in 2021. First off. Fat Joe's beard. Yes, Fat Joe's beard. Uh, as you can tell, man, my man's beard changes colors more than a Regal on 28. You hear me? His beard is dark like he got pranked during a breathing treatment. Like, oh, that feels so much better. Yo, what, got, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, his beard is, hey, his beard is darker than two Jeffrey Dahmer thoughts, okay? One minute it'd be slightly brown, and the next minute it'd be super dark, like you dipped your chin in a goblet of soy sauce. Come on, man. It's, it's, it's dark and thin like a set of stockings. <laughs> somebody, somebody could rob a bank with, with the hair on your face. <laughs> Give me all your money. My man got a face full of Etch-A-Sketch dust. <laughs> that beard is see-through like a Prince shirt. Another thing that needs to stop in 2021, man, we need to stop uh, letting people post memes that keep asking the same ass question. Who's better, uh, uh, KD, LeBron, Giannis, or Steph? And it's like, bro, come on, man. Like, you 35 with a family. Like, why why are you up at 6.30 in the morning posting this on social media? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you need, I wish better for you, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you over it's five in the morning. You think about a LeBron flop. You need medicine. Huh? Hey, another thing that we leaving in 2021. We are leaving the fact that people go to restaurants and they go to a little spot and the food's good and the scenery's good and they love it so much that they take pictures of everything and then they go live and be like, hey, we at this one restaurant. It's called so-and-so. It's on blah, blah, blah street. The wings are to die for. Y'all gotta make it to... Bro, why did you just give up the low-key spot? 
In 2022, we're not giving them no low-key spots. The spots are low-key because that's what they are. Not everybody wants to go eat where everybody's at. Sometimes you got a little sneaky link, you yeah, and you want to take it to a little sneaky spot, you yeah. Why would you give up the sneaky spot just because the wings is good? You want to show everybody, like, why did you get on Facebook and tell everybody that this spot exists? Now you're going to have all the meddlesome people and all the people who didn't even care about these wings come to this spot and do the same thing you just did. Now it's no longer a low-key spot. You going in there with your sneaky link thinking you this is your, this is your go-to. You know what I'm saying? You go in there and see 50 people you didn't have no business seeing you with this sneaky link right here. Y'all done ruined the game, man. We leaving that in 2021. Stop giving up all the low-key spots, bro. Stop giving up all the low-key spots. You can post anything else and you'll get the same amount of likes, my G. Stop giving up the low-key spots. Some people want to eat in some sort of peace. Some people want to eat without looking over their shoulder. Some people want to eat with people they ain't got no business eating with. You hear me? <laughs> so the last thing I want to leave in 2021, um, it just came across, you know me, my, 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 my social media feed. Uh, the Fresh and Fit Pie. Uh, if you haven't heard, let me hip you to it, man. Uh, these two guys right here, man. Um, these guys hate black women. These guys hate black women. Uh, they don't do nothing but speak down on black women. And um, they just had a podcast with uh, uh, the artist Asian Doll on there. And um, they really was disrespectful to the lady, man. I think these guys take the podcast thing a little bit too serious on the power scale. Um, the, these guys is acting like Facebook group admins. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess they, they podcast rules are a little bit too strict. I don't think anybody would rock with that, man. And uh, I'm going to let y'all watch the footage. Uh, I don't even know who she is. So uh, I don't care. Simple. Damn. Um, like guys, like those people guys, 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 sidebar, alcohol. sidebar conversations, please. All right. what about I've you? told you, this is like, you know, this is like the uh, fifth time I've told you that, right? Yeah, Six times. So, like, stop. Okay. For real, like, stop. He mean as fuck. <laughs> 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 like, you haven't been here. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole show. Come yeah, she's been doing it the whole show. I'm not mean as fuck. I just have rules. Simple. All right, go ahead. The porching me. Hold on. Excuse me? You mean? I'm not mean at all. Okay, I don't care. Have you been here the whole time? No. All right then, so you don't know what was happening, right? I don't right? give a fuck. Okay then. So, how are you gonna come on somebody's show, not know what go down, and say, "Oh, you're mean"? It don't matter. I can say what I want. Okay, Just well you can get the fuck off the show too. I don't give a fuck. Get off the show too, man. What? Chill out. Man. Yeah, good decision to roll out, Asian. Don't come on someone's show not knowing uh, what's going on and speak it down the, on the host. Respect the show. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Uh, first time donating. Just say Myron is a real one. Don't change for nobody. Yeah, fuck out of here, bro. We don't change. Uh, I don't even know who she is, so uh, I don't care. That's uh, King Von girl. Like, you know who Queen Von is? No, I know who King Von is, but okay, I mean, I, you should know who his girl is. I don't no, have to know who really his girl is. is. It's I mean, King Von because, fan, like, be hold on. The uh, fact you said it's King Von's girl instead of it was her. Yeah, that tells it, you right it, there. That tells all you everything. Know. I don't, I don't know who she is, and I don't care. Yeah, it's, it's King yeah. Von, man. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see. He spoke to Asian Dog kind of crazy, man, real disrespectful, like, and I think he thinks because he has a platform that he has the ability to treat people any kind of way just because it's his platform. And bro couldn't be more wrong, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, guests is who you need to survive because obviously you guys can't have a podcast and sustain with just your personality alone. Um, as you can see, this whole thing went viral. It blew up. Everybody's looking at it. And when things blow up and go viral like this, your resume better speak volumes for you. You understand? <laughs> your resume better speak volumes. And what it's looking like is these dudes is real misogynistic. These dudes is real... Uh, um, it, I ain't even going to say racist because they they are colored people. You understand? But uh, I think it's a more of a self-hate thing, man. And for somebody like me, I got to let you guys know... You dudes are straight suckers. Y'all are some sucker ass busters, man. Let me tell you something, man. Look at these two dudes right here, man. I cannot, I cannot let this go. What is what's wrong with y'all, man? Y'all boys is tripping, man, talking to these black women like this, man. Listen, good luck to you, but it's gonna take all the white women in the nation to make that podcast survive now. Y'all done shot your own self in the foot, thinking you could be all high and mighty to do what you do, man. If y'all get y'all creep asses out of here, man, dorky looking ass. Matter of fact, I ain't got no more talking. <laughs> Let's get to...
come on, man. You look like uh, TJ Hoosman's out in the face. Yeah, man, you got the face of a slot receiver. You got enough teeth in your mouth to help a tooth-fueled Buick LeSable make it from here to London, England. Ugh, glass. Hey, every time you smile, you make me want to play 6738 in the lottery at a marathon. Ugh, glass. Hey, your head shaped like a shovel. <laughs> Bull rat face ass, man. Very nice face ass, man. And your homeboy look like a Goomba trooper. Mario flower face ass. Y'all knew it was a photo shoot, and y'all still came with them parched ass hairlines. But guess who would have told you to fix it before you left the house? A black woman. That's who. I bet $100 y'all got on Team Jordans to match them shirts right now. Curtis Martin face ass boy. Your nose look like a leather go kart, you dork. <laughs> and I'm still not off you, doll scene from Street Fighter face ass. Yoga flame face ass. You look like you was born next to a family of Toys R Us giraffes with that damn Toucan Sam nose. I bet you can get a lifetime supply of Foot Loops, huh? I bet you can crack a bowling ball open like a coconut ugh glass. I bet your new name is Beige Beak. I bet you tell all the chicks that don't believe you, baby, all you gotta do is follow your nose, ugh glass. So, boom, that's going to conclude episode two of the Starks TV show. I appreciate everybody watching. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody enjoying. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share it with somebody. You understand? Also, man, make sure you show a gesture of love to a black lady out there. As you can see, they out here being hated on from all angles, man. And we got to show as much love as we can, man. You understand? So, uh, appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on episode three, man. It's your boy Stark signing out. Mm.